Hi everyone! My name is Desiree and I am a teen librarian with Durham County Library and I'm here today to read you a poem. I have chosen the poem The Road Not Taken by Robert Frost. Robert Frost is one of my all-time favorite poets because his poems really um, invoke a lot of nature and natural images and that's why I've always loved him. But I picked this poem because it's really cited a lot right now, this time of year with graduation and making big choices and not really knowing um, how things are gonna turn out with whichever choice you make. So I wanted to read it and discuss it a little bit um, since you'll be hearing it all over the place right now. So, The Road Not Taken by Robert Frost. Two roads diverged in a yellow wood and sorry I could not travel both but be one traveler long I stood and looked down one as far as I could to where it bent in the undergrowth. Then took the other as just as fair and having perhaps the better claim because it was grassy and wanted wear, though as for that the passing there had warned them really about the same. And both that morning equally lay in leaves no step had trodden black. Oh, I kept the first for another day Yet knowing how way leads on to way, I doubted if I should ever come back. I shall be telling this with a sigh, somewhere ages and ages hence. Two roads diverged in a wood, and I, I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. So, in this poem, when people talk about it, they're talking about making big choices in life. Um, they're talking about the roads of life and where they lead. And they'll argue that Frost says that they are equal, the two roads. And he does say over and over again um, that both options are appealing. Sorry, I could not travel both. Took the other as just as fair. Um, but then he follows that up immediately with and having perhaps the better claim. He does this through the poem over and over again. Um, he says that the passing there had warned them about the same. Both that morning equally lay. Um, but then he ends it with the sigh. And it doesn't say what kind of sigh. Is he contented? Is he regretful? Um, what, is he, what is the speaker feeling in this poem when he sighs like this? It has made all the difference, though. And, and this is really like the most basic um, analysis of this poem that we can do. But one thing that I wanted to point out was that when Robert Frost wrote this poem in 1915, he wrote it for his friend Edward Thomas. And Edward Thomas and Robert Frost used to go for walks through the woods all the time. And whenever they would come to... A split in the road, um, Edward Thomas would have the hardest time deciding which road to take. And inevitably, at the end of the day, he would regret that they had not taken the other road. He always thought there was some cool bird's nest they would have found if they'd gone the other way. Or they would have seen this cool rock formation. Um, and he regretted the road that they took. So Robert Frost actually wrote this poem as a joke for Edward Thomas. Um, so are we getting this analysis wrong or not? Robert Frost also said that he's never more serious than when he's joking. So I don't know. But that's The Road Not Taken. If you want to read more of Robert Frost's poetry, we have plenty of books in the library. And you can also access them on Project Gutenberg's website. They are um, public domain at this point. So let me know what you thought. And tune in for more awesome poetry and crafts and videos every week. We'll see you soon, friends.